machine gun is one of the army's best weapons. But the fact that the is still blasting away. This is how 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 long this machine gun has been okay working with US. <laughs> Hello and hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Okay, today I'm going to react on a video by the channel of US Military. Please do support this channel by subscribing it too, okay? And today we're going to see the here's five reasons no nation want to go to fight with the United States Army. Okay, we're going to see what is kind what is the actually the reason why, okay? And before we start, I would like to thank everyone who already supported me by subscribing my channel. And for those who still not yet subscribe, please do so because I really, really need it and really gonna appreciate all of you. Thank you so much, good people. Okay, um, Without further ado, Brahman, let's go and watch this interesting video with me, of course. Let's go. Yay! Are you guys ready? Let's get started. Five reasons no nation wants to go to fight with the US Army. The US Army can bring an unprecedented amount of firepower onto any battlefield in the world. Mm. When it comes to lethal weapons, the U.S. Army has no shortage. Some may be too expensive, some too complex, and others may be desired by politicians and defense contractors, but not the troops on the field. Nonetheless, today's U.S. Army can generate an astonishing amount of firepower and deliver it in a variety of settings from small war counterinsurgency to big war mechanized combat. With that in mind, here are five of the best U.S. Army weapons. Number 1. AW-64 Apache Apache Ironic it is that the best weapon of America's premier land force is an aircraft. But given the conflicts the US military has recently fought and is likely to fight, air power is the most decisive factor. Equipped with a 30mm cannon, Hellfire missiles, and sophisticated sensors, the Apache combines speed, firepower, and range that allows the Army to strike enemies long before they come within firing distance of Army ground troops. It is equally useful at hunting down insurgents or decimating enemy armored columns. The Apache has fought well in conflicts from Desert Storm to the current Afghan war. Oh, has been used on the Desert Storm because of this kind of technologies uh, that Apache have in this, um, yeah, technology that Apache have is actually can use this on the Desert Storm in an Afghan war. Oh. I lost my word actually because we know that can imagine the desert storm how it will look like and um, yeah but you can stand on that wow perhaps more important the apache is air power that the army itself controls rather than having to rely on the air force or navy aircraft for close air support an attack helicopter is not and will never be a substitute for infantry on the ground but the ground troops will appreciate the support an attack helicopter can provide. Number 2. M1 Abrams Abram. Whether the M1 Abrams is the best tank in the world depends on who you talk to, and more importantly, what country they are from. But it is indisputably among the world's best. Weighing in at 60 tons, the M1A2 has a 120mm cannon, depleted uranium armor up to 3 feet thick and a top speed of more than 40 miles per hour. It decimated Iraq's Soviet-made armor in 1991 and quite possibly would do the same to China's advanced Type 99 tank. Very few Abrams have been destroyed in combat. The fact that ISIS has destroyed or captured Iraqi government M1 says more about the quality of the crews than the tank. This 
listed as one of the best tank in this military war Abraham yeah Ooh. Can you hear that? Oh, that's so loud. Number 3, M109A6 Paladin. Paladin. The U.S. Army's hard-hitting, self-propelled howitzers have taken a backseat in America's recent small wars. Nonetheless, they remain highly potent weapons. Mm. The Paladin is the latest version of the venerable M109 self-propelled gun. It can shoot a 155mm shell up to 20 miles using rocket-assisted projectiles. It can also fire the GPS or laser guided S caliber shell. I can't imagine how they feel like the, right inside there, inside the tank. Number 4 Tow Anti Tank Missile. Anti-tank, tow anti-tank missile. Russia or the Soviet Union seems to be the king of anti-tank missiles, though this probably reflects the pattern of arms sales, as well as how great a threat Western-designed armor posed to Russia and its clients. So it is easy to forget that the U.S. Army is no slouch either at the anti-tank missile game. The right. Army's tow to the clear vision wire guided anti tank missile is still going strong after nearly 45 years of service. It has destroyed tanks, mostly Russian, the Vietnam, the Arab Israeli War, the Iran Iraq War, and now Syria. The newer tow 2B comes in several versions, including a bunker busting missile, as well as the Aero model, which explodes above a tank to penetrate its thin top armor. I think this is a training. I, I feel it's like real because they're using the real, of course, missiles and bullets. Am I right? Ooh, ooh, what was that? What was that? It's so fast. The missiles. The training feels like a real war, the real battle. Ooh. Ooh. Number five, M two point five zero caliber machine gun. Machine gun. It may sound strange to classify an eighty year old machine gun as one of the army's best weapons. 80 years old still blasting this is how 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 long this machine gun has been okay working with u.s military way after years. nearly a century and countless wars are a testament to the fact that it is a remarkable gun developed when franklin roosevelt had just become president and hitler was just taking power in germany the m2 has seen service all over the world as an anti-aircraft anti-vehicle and anti-personnel machine gun that's closer in power to a small cannon a recently upgraded version the m2a1 features a quick change barrel and a night flash suppressor quick change barrel Ooh.
which is how the mission guns works Well, that's it to five reason why there is no nation I can want to go to fight with the United States Army. Of course, they can bring uh, an a we can say unprecedented a uh, amount of firepower uh, into any battle in this world. That is amazing, and I do love this kind of video in. in to ensure that all of us know what is going on to to the United States Army and what they are using for the um, weapon and so on and um, when it when it comes to the lethal weapon of course the United Army is uh, there is no shortage okay no shortage of course uh, for the lethal weapon at the United States Army of course and um, I think it must be so expensive you know more expensive and uh, but there is a lot of amount uh, that uh, government is spending of course in the military segment and this is uh, all the spending goes on and uh, of course we do have apache and abrams the, the one of the best uh, tank in this world paladin of course and uh, tow anti-tank missile and not to forget the 80 years um, serve to a uh, united states of military the um caliber machine gun of course and I, I do really love this video that we can see how actually the military do their training and so on and it feel like a real battle a real war and I can hear a lot of you know the gunshot and and all the firepowers are using in, in to ensure that every military army can can use and how to use all this uh, weapon and so on and and I if I were there um, you know involved in that training as a uh, as a citizens <laughs> i think after all that um you know after all that training is finished i might be have a hearing problems you know <laughs> i can't take it because it's really and this is how uh, and this is why i respect all the military uh, officers and so on they are serving to the country for the best the best that they have and uh, yeah, they can stand all the the shots and so on. You know the loud, the, the you know I cannot stand it. Uh, the 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 noise, the loudest and so on. That they are really served to the to the country with full of their hearts and a really respect to them. And yeah, the military of course uh, uh, protecting the security of the national um, sovereignty and so on. And with all this kind of weapon that United States have, of course, no one, I think, no nation, no country want to do any mess with United States. And of course, um, for us, for living in this kind of better world and a peaceful world, I hope that there is no provocation and so on have been made with uh, you know, one another and uh, we should live in a better world with love, with respect and so on. And uh, we just... Uh, hope that all this weapon is just only for the security of the country and and I hope that uh, there is no war no battle of this and no you no know, sacrificing uh, of course life and so on and we hope that uh, all this is actually for just uh, you know for for the national securities once again United States have a very great equipment uh, the great troops of course and i respect all of you guys and uh, the troops of the united states you are you're doing very great and of course to all the military in this world you guys are awesome um the brave among the brave one you know, who are responsible to taking care of the national uh, security and so on and i hope that uh, each one of you having a great um day ahead and um living in a very peace with your family and your loved one of course and um what do you think guys with all this weapon which one is your you know for me i really do know the apache and of course the machine gun <laughs> that is one of my wow the, the wow uh, for me uh, the weapon that i see from this uh, video really really um 
impactful of course and uh, which one is i mean not your favorite something that you feel like well what is your opinion on um, what do you think about this five a um, weapon that uh what we call it a five power that united states military have uh just now united states military of course they have more weapons than this and we just talk about this five what do you think about this five <laughs> okay i think that's just great and of course um yeah this is just for security um national security and so on i think that's it for now thanks for watching like usual if you like this video please do share it and liking it and i hope to see all of you guys on my next video again and thank you again for all uh, who already support me by subscribing my channel and for those still not yet support by subscribing please do so because i really need it and i really gonna appreciate all of you thank you so much hope to see you guys on my next video till then take care goodbye you went away.